Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, thought I'd show you how I went about mounting the Matrice 600 camera mounting bracket for the X3 and X5 cameras on a non-DJI frame and uh, how I went about wiring all that up. So let's give it a look. Alright guys, so I'm powering the M600 bracket off of the main battery pack. Problem was, sometimes I'll run an 8 cell and then sometimes I'll run a 6 cell. And I believe the, the bracket can only handle up to a 6 cell input. So, I had to find a way to bring that voltage down whenever I run that 8 cell pack. And this is what I come up with. I've set the voltage to 18.5 volts and it's been working beautifully. It doesn't get hot, doesn't even get warm. Uh, I'll put the eBay item number in the description if you want to take a look at it. And there it is mounted on the bottom side. Might not need this if you're running a 6 or a 4 cell. I just wanted to show that there is an option if you want to run an 8 cell battery pack. Here is the main voltage in. Comes with an XT30 plug installed. Here we have the ports on the top of the bracket. CAN port and the gimbal port. And these two cables come with the bracket. The CAN cable simply plugs into a CAN port. Gimbal cable plugs into the gimbal port. D-bus cable that's included with the N3 flight controller and that plugs into the RF port and that is also how the air unit gets its power if you notice the red wire here on the D-Bus cable mounting I've had to do a little differently uh, my battery sits here on this plate instead of up on top so what I've done is I've used some of these pillars here or standoffs uh, four of them and I've mounted it to this plate here that's included with the M600 kit. Uh, normally you would use something like this. This isn't actually what's included with the kit. I've put what was included away and now I can't find to uh, can't find them to uh, show you guys what they look like but uh, these holes here is what they would where they would mount is the four of them. You need to mount them to a rail system but uh, I believe that was 140 millimeter for the uh, mounting for the rail system. Okay, so just one more thing. So if you're wanting to build a quadcopter and you're wanting to use the Lightbridge 2 and the N3 flight controller and an X3 camera, but you don't want the weight and the size of this mount here on your, uh, on your quad, what you could do is remove these four screws here and take this square plate here off and that's actually what's mounting the camera on here and mount it on something like this just drill your four hose and some hose for the cables and mount your X3 camera on that you'll be good to go thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, hit the like for me. If you really like the video, subscribe. And don't forget to enable notifications by clicking the bell so you'll know whenever I upload new content. I have other content on my channel, so give those a look if you like. My name is James and I hope you have a wonderful day.